Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and we may see markets here shift a bit uh, during this uh, two-minute uh, segment uh, because the Fed is uh, releasing their um, uh, their uh, their notes from uh, from their uh, most recent meeting out there. So we'll see if that has an impact on the market. But currently, right now, and you can see this. Uh, I can see quite a bit of movement and uh, a little bit of uh, flow issues inside of uh, the e-signal system. But right now, you've got a mixed bag out here. The Dow off about 68. S&P's down 2. NASDAQ 100 is up 31. Semis are up 12. Russell's off 16. Gold is down 29 bucks. Silver's off one penny. Lights Recruit is back a buck 30. Natural gas is flat. The 30-year treasury is off one point and eight ticks. She's traded at 139.29 out there. So really, I'd say stay tuned for the uh, power trading hour and certainly stay tuned for Tom's show out there because I think we'll get more of a feel for how the markets are going to respond to the uh, Fed minutes out here. But let's go take a peek and see what our uh, cash indice charts are communicating to us as of 201 in the afternoon. So we'll change over to those screens. In the upper left-hand corner, you got the Dow. As long as price remains about 36.22, we should see a move up to about the 32,000 level. As long as price on the S&P remains about 37.67, a move to about 39.50. 50 or so. As long as the NDX remains above 11,477, 12,200. As long as the Russell remains above 1,705, that's been the worst performing uh, index today, and it still is in uh, somewhat bullish mode out here. And as long as price is above 1,705, a run up to the 1,800 area. The semis are the weak indice out here, and I really believe in order for the markets to give any kind of sustained move to the upside, you need to get a bottoming pattern inside the semis. You do not have that. The Dow transports have a nice TD nine count bottom. As long as price remains above 13011, you should see a move to about the 13800. The Nasdaq composite should be targeted about the 11700 area out out there and uh, that's what the cash indices are communicating to us i'll switch over to our 60 minute time frame chart for those of you that trade the futures or even if you don't trade them use the futures to help guide you as to what is going on inside the markets in the es mini your key resistance levels at 38.44.75 if you see a close above that on an hourly basis the markets will continue to move higher in the case of the nasdaq out there it would require a close above 11.882.50 that's on the hourly basis get that markets are headed higher folks stay tuned your favorite polar bears up next i'll be back with you tomorrow on terrific thursday join me at one o'clock sharp have a wonderful wednesday folks